Hey guys, and welcome to the very first episode of our new series. So basically the basis of this series is going to be me playing survival. Um, but this series hopefully is going to last forever. Like this is going to be the world I'm going to play on forever. Uh, so yeah, that's why it's called the forever world. So I have a few plans, um, for like my starter house and everything, but before we get to any of that, we got to get ourselves like set up. So yeah, let's just get the basics done real quick. We got our three cobblestone. So this, uh, wooden pickaxe is nothing more than an antique now. Yeah, I was planning on using a pretty decent amount of copper on my starter base. So definitely gonna need to find a lot of this. I'm gonna say I really like this spawn location and like this plains biome and this like hill right here. I think it looks really nice, especially with this river here too. I think I'm gonna set up base right here. We also got some cows. Those are really important for the start of a survival world. Our first achievement, I think. Or maybe we got something else. Oh no, okay. A third achievement. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna set up base just right around here. I'm gonna add uh, maybe like a cow pen right here. I'll dig a hole for that. Um, just so I can have a food supply. Um, I also, as you saw, I built a farm down there. Yeah, I'm gonna just yeah, set up camp and then I think I'm gonna go exploring a little bit um, just to get some resources and just kind of see what the world around me is like. Looks like we got a really small swamp biome that leads into a freaking winter wonderland over there. God, I swear the like terrain generation in this game right now, in the new update, is really cool. But like the way biomes like sit so close to each other. Oh, there's a village over there. That's cool. But like the way the biomes, I don't know, like transition, and there's just so many biomes near each other. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like it's desert, swamp, winter wonderland. Like, I, I don't know. It's just like very abrupt changes. Still looks pretty cool though. It's a cool little village up here. Is this like a igloo? Oh wow, it is. That's really cool. I'm gonna go steal this bed. Actually, wait, wait. I'm gonna lock some villagers in their houses really quick. Oh yes, that is really nice. Are there any villagers? Hello? Bro, where is everybody? Down here. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, I'm just gonna lock him in here. So I can keep him safe. Uh, baby villager. I'll take these potatoes, thank you very much. You stay in there. There's another igloo. Or is it just snow? Oh no, it's an igloo. Okay. Another one. This is a pretty small village. Anything over here? Nope, just a skeleton. Or skeleton, not skeleton. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna sleep. We have successfully survived our first night. Oh wait, there's more village over here, okay. I was wondering why it was so small. That guy's definitely gonna die. I can't really save him. Gosh, I should've came down here. Locked all these guys away. As long as I have two villagers, it'll be fine. I can just make a breeder. I really like these guys' like outfits. I don't know, they're, they're really like colorful. They look really cool. These, they don't have jobs. They're lazy villagers. Look at all this. Amazing. They did a really good job with this terrain. Other than the fact that that's a desert with snow on it. Or maybe it's a beach. I don't know. It's sand. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna need these cats too. What do you, oh yeah, I need fish. Okay, I'll do that later. I changed my mind. I'm gonna get the cats now. Okay, the cats are like super important for Elytra because you can make creeper farms with them. Um, and cats are always so annoying to have to find. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that over with. Come here. Do you like crawl at them like this? Not crawl. <laughs> Fucking terrifying. Here we go.
Hey, let's go. First cat. Let me see one more. Uh, I think I saw one down in this cave over here. Oh. Here's one. Bro, stop walking away. Stop. I have fish. Here you go. Oh, thank God. Okay. Nice. We got two. Wait. Where's the other one? Right, where'd that one go? Hello? Oh, there's that one. Where'd the black one go? Okay, okay, whatever. I'm just going to assume that they're teleporting. And not worry about it. The cats are also going to be nice because I can just set them up as, like, creeper repellent for it. So I don't, like, get blown up by a creeper while I'm crafting or something. Yeah, I've added a few more crops. We got beetroots, potatoes, and sugarcane. Yeah, sorry, I forgot what it was called for a second. <laughs> oh, there's some cows right here. That is perfect. Wait. I don't have wheat. Ugh. I think I got bone meal, though, from... Yeah, I did, okay. I might be able to bone meal up one for me real quick. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and breed them. Why are they walking away from each other? There we go. That's it. I'm gonna spread them out a little bit. Just around my stuff. Okay, we got a creeper repellent turrets. Nice. Okay, uh, this one looks the biggest. Crap. Guess I'm just gonna have to wait on the cows. I think this is the first time I've ever cooked up rabbit. I like never kill them because they're so cute. Ah, the beautiful sunset of Minecraft. I'll watch it while I go to be a bed, not beard. <laughs> and I love this sky texture back. It makes it all look so like epic. I think it's called like epic sky something. Dramatic sky, yeah. By the way, if you're wondering, these are the texture packs I use. Uh, I, I use, so I don't know what the heck this is. I have fabric on for my mods. I guess it just adds that for some reason. Um, and then I got tiny meals, which is like, it makes the food really small. Um, Cause I don't know, it's annoying how like when you eat, the food is just shoved into your face and you can't see anything. So yeah, that's really nice. Um, but for like my main actual texture stuff, I use the Flip Essentials and then the Flip's Foliage. So uh, if you don't know, Flip is like a YouTuber, Minecraft YouTuber um, who does like survival, Let's play sort of the same stuff that I like to do. Um, and honestly, honestly, he really inspires me um, in a lot of the builds I make. But uh, he also makes texture packs. Um, and the way you get them is you have to like subscribe to his Twitch. And since I have a free Twitch Prime, I just kind of subbed and grabbed his texture packs. And they're really nice. Like, um, for example, like these flowers, in normal Minecraft look really boring but he added just like more leaves and stuff that make them look really cool. Like this is what they look like with the texture pack and this is what they look like without. So you can see like all these looked so much different and they look a lot better with the texture pack. So yeah, that's why I use that. And I don't really think it's cheating. I know it like, like it's sort of years off from vanilla, but I don't know. It's just like, it just looks a lot better in my opinion, and that's why I use it. A random bone. Thank you, doggo. I think the dog killed a skeleton. Okay, so now I can bone meal some more wheat and get cows, finally. Sweet. Okay. So I can get cows and then breed up. Okay, follow me into your hole where you're going to live for the rest of your life. Right this way. God, you guys are slow. Jesus. Now I will slowly build up a massive amount of those and then kill them all. Now what I think I need to do is I need to go mining. I would really like some iron. And then I want to go 
that direction. Because uh, I think, yeah, there's spruce. Actually, wait. Uh, okay, I'm either going to go that way or that way. Because I need, I want spruce for my starter base. Yeah, so we're going to go caving right now. And then explore that way after that. Oh, there's a bee. There you go. There he is. So, yeah. Okay, I just found this cave and I kind of just want to explore it. Uh, so yeah. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. I already have to go back. Oh my god. Wait, no, 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 no. I'm good, I'm good. I'm just gonna make a wooden pickaxe. Yeah, I was not as prepared for this as I thought I was. I'll grab some cobblestone before I break another pickaxe. I can't believe there's no iron down here. Just coal and copper. Finally, my first piece of what the what the oh my god. Oh Iron Oh I can't hit my shots. Okay. Whew. There's more iron right there. God, those guys came out of freaking nowhere. What the heck? Okay. I grab this iron in peace. Got our iron armor. I think there's a zombie right in front of me. Behind me or above me? Okay. We got our full iron armor now. I think I'm ready to fight some mobs off. Actually, I'm gonna grab this coal. Die. Ow. Okay. Easy. That right there is how you clear a room. Alrighty, now time for iron tools. Don't need those anymore. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a shield too. Oh, voice crack. I'm gonna make a shield too. Got our first lapis. And our first deep slate. This block is gonna be quite important for our starter base. Oh! What the heck? I I was mining redstone, I just found diamonds, okay. Here's our first diamonds of the series. We get three. Let's go, we got three, we can, we can make a pickaxe. That was really fast. I feel like I've been playing, how long have I been playing on this world for? Let's see. We've been sneaking for eight minutes. <laughs> uh, time played. So an hour in, I already have my first diamonds. Pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, Jesus Christ. Okay. I don't want to immediately die right after I got my diamonds. <laughs> that would freaking suck. Okay, I think I'm going to resurface real quick because I have a full inventory right now. Um, and I'm going to go mining uh, on the deep slate level right now. So, Okay, so I've cleared out my inventory and I only have the essentials now. I think I'm ready to dive back down. Uh, I'm good at this game. Easy. All right, I'm gonna make the enchantment table now. Here we. Go. Oh wait, I need a book. Uh, crap. Do I have any leather? Nope. Do I need a cows. I think I saw cows over here. Yeah, there's a cow right there. Give me leather, please. Thank you. Okay, now I need sugar cane. All right, so I'm gonna make my enchantment table right now. Here we go. Boom. All right, so now that we've mined up all these resources, we got a good amount of iron and lapis and all that stuff. So yeah, we should be set for a pretty decent amount of time. Obviously, I'm gonna need to get more diamonds, but other than that, we're set. Okay, so the next thing I need to work on is getting the materials for my house. So um, as I said, I built it in a creative world, 
prior to this and i've kind of i kind of went overboard with the materials i used um it looks really cool but uh it, it's gonna be pretty difficult to build uh for a starter base so i don't think i'm gonna be able to finish it entirely this episode but i definitely want to get started on it um really the only blocks that are going to be a problem are the nether blocks and dark prismarine uh, but other than that i think i can get most of the stuff um so yeah i'm gonna start working on materials so i'm gonna need to get some spruce some deep slate uh i got the copper it should be enough i need wax technically um but i think i'll just do that later when i make a bee farm or something um definitely gonna need sand uh, but yeah, I'm just going to collect all these resources and come back here, and uh, then we can start building. Okay, so to build this starter base, um, I've actually already pre-designed it, so there's a little sneak peek um, of what it's going to look like. Um, I'm using a mod called Lightmatica. And basically, I can create stuff on a creative world, uh, just so it's easier to like design, and then I can bring it into the survival world as a schematic and then built it based off of that schematic. So it's not really cheating because I did build it myself. It just makes it a little bit easier, not as time consuming to design uh, buildings. Um, but yeah, so this is the material list. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's gonna go into this. Like I need some azalea, so I'm gonna have to find an azalea tree. Uh, glow lichen, andesite, a lot of stripped spruce. I'm gonna find need to find a jungle. Yeah, so a lot of stuff is gonna go into this build, but I think it's gonna look really cool and it's also not super complicated um my starter base design originally was going to be a steampunk design um and it had dark prismarine as like a roof block and i realized that i can't get dark prismarine yet because that is a very grindy block to get and i'm just not ready to use that kind of materials um so yeah i'm gonna save that steampunk build for a steampunk city that i plan on making in the future um, just as a cool little project. I actually have a lot of projects planned out. So yeah, uh, now I just have to find all the materials for that. I, it's not letting me look at the materials for right now for some reason. Uh, but yeah, let's just hop into it. I could have sworn I had steak somewhere. <laughs> Maybe not. I have the fucking hips. Let's see if I back. <sighs> How is it possible I still have hiccups? Alright, uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this video is kind of long and it took a while to come out. Um, sorry about that. The next episode should be out a little bit sooner. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, please like, subscribe, comment what you want to see in the next episode. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.